Okay, so we all know that the whole a virgin birth thing was the result of a mistranslation, right? Like the Hebrew prophecy actually said young woman. The Greek translator read it as virgin, and to make Jesus match prophecy, they had to say his mom was a virgin. And I'm wondering if there's any mistranslation anywhere ever that has caused more suffering for more people. I mean, the cultural obsession with chastity obviously doesn't start there. The very fact that a pure Messiah could only come from a virginal vagina shows you that. But holy hell, encoding it in the top line of your religion like that has been a curse on women for a hundred generations and counting. Anyway, that's my way of saying season's greetings, and now it's on to some more topical misogyny. And we'll start off in Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria, where for the third time in five years, the national legislature has rejected a measure that would promote gender equality. And as fucked up as it was, I have to give them points for honesty. The senators voting down the bill actually cited as their reasons, quote, sociocultural and Islamic concerns, end quote. In other words, our society and religion are too backwards for that shit. And sorry to describe an African culture as backwards. I know it comes off as un-PC as fuck, but there's really no other way to describe Nigeria's record on gender equality. Like, America is bad enough with only about one-fourth of our legislature made up of women. In Nigeria, it's less than one-fourteenth. But among that super minority of female senators is one Biodun Ulujimi, and apologies if I get that pronunciation wrong, who has been working for years to pass this bill. And I should point out that it's not just about giving women equal rights. Nigeria has a terrible problem with gender-based violence, and the bill seeks to redress that as well. And again, can't emphasize this enough, the justifications for opposing the bill and thus siding with gender-based violence was almost entirely religious. A senator named Yusuf Yusuf summed it up perfectly for the AP. Quote, equating opportunities actually infringes on the provisions of the Quran and also the Bible, end quote. And while I'd submit Senator Yusuf got the conclusion as as backwards as he could get it, that statement isn't wrong. Anyway, given the tenacity of Nigeria's female senators, we're hoping this isn't the last we hear of this bill. Oh, and I guess since we've been gone for a few weeks, you guys are probably wondering if my arch nemesis, Lori Alexander, has turned over a new leaf and stopped being a willing spokesperson for the patriarchy. Well, it turns out, nope. Last I heard from her, she was in the middle of defending the family dynamics of the Duggars and bitching about lady preachers. Seriously, somebody wrote in to say something about how surely she can agree that Josh Duggar's wife should have divorced his ass, right? Well, Lori did not agree. Instead, she accused the concerned viewer of both feminism and humanism for shame. And then she pointed out that Josh Duggar only mildly molested his sisters. Her actual words. Then she followed that up a couple days later with a screed about how female preachers are heretics who, quote, were somehow abused in their lives, end quote. So, yeah, maybe she's waiting for the new year to turn over that new leaf, but I'll keep an eye out just in case. And on that note, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. 